Welcome. So, how to set up a hybrid Toastmasters session? The, the most important thing is that we are now working towards aligning what we always used to know in presential meetings, physical meetings, and digital meetings that we somehow transitioned completely over to. This is a workshop with a simple objective, or with three simple objectives. First, it's to help you understand everything that you need to take account of. So no surprises arise. And if surprises arise, you're somewhat prepared. Then we'll share Invicta Toastmasters Club's experience. So this is heavily based on it, not completely. And I'll explain it in a little while. And in the end, we'll have a brief discussion, of course, if possible. So let me start. Who am I? So that you're not completely oh, unaware of it. I'm Rafael Piedad Marx, Portuguese. I was born in November 1991. I joined Invicta in July 2018, and the result is I was ignorant for 27 years. It just happens when you don't know Toastmasters. I was the VPM of Invicta from the in the year of 2019 and 2020, and now I'm the president in this upcoming year. Uh, you you may ignore my face on the on the on the Zoom chat. You can just see it here. So here's my face. And because I, I want to have some fun, I want to name drop some, some faces that you've seen all along. So you may have seen Norberto, uh, Silvia, and Isabel, and to the left, the most important one of all, uh, she's hearing me right now, um, my girlfriend. Let's see, some acknowledgements, because this is truly important. Before we even started, and before we even wanted to to create these hybrid sessions. Um, I got to talk with Antonio Quiroz from Sevilla Toastmasters Club. He was instrumental in giving us some pointers so where we could go and what we could do and what setup we should, we should have. From that, we created a task force. So the, the four instrumental people, so me, our Sergeant at Arms, our VP and our IT support uh, team members. And then every, uh, and with that team, we, we basically set up what would be the experience for the people in the room, for the people at home. And in every session that went by, uh, everyone in the club gave their feedback, they gave their input, and it was instrumental because from session to session, we'd make little adjustments and you could see the quality improving to the point where this is, was a sustainable model. This was something that people actually enjoyed being into. Of course, people had their preferences and that's what this is all about, giving them the possibility to choose to have the flexibility to have their to have their needs being met adequately now before everything else already talking about the hybrid sessions the rules and it, it's very important because toastmasters international gave us a clear message that we should not be just making presential sessions we should we, we, for our safety, we should think about making them online. We should have these, these concerns, although they are not saying don't do it. They are just being looking out for us. And the Toastmasters International is not the only one. Our country or your country has rules. Portugal has rules. Spain has rules. Morocco has rules. And other countries will have rules as well. Then... For you to have the possibility of having a hybrid session, you need to think about the space you're using. The space you're using also has rules. You should always follow those rules. And last, but probably the absolute most important, your members have a voice. If none of your members wants a hybrid session, you should not make a hybrid session. You should respect their needs and you should always meet what they think is best for them. They, they can just say, I, I don't want. If everyone says, I don't want a hybrid session, it's not for you. So what, what should we do? Follow the rules. And once we know that we should follow the rules, we should follow the rules again. Let's get started. Guidelines. This is what we are absorbed that we got from our experience. Respect the participation limit. These, these will always go according to the rules. People should always think that I need to, to be within the limit of people that are going to be present. 
and this can be managed in a variety of ways. I'm going to talk about our, our way a little bit later. Then social distancing. What we did was in the room, we always have those social distancing at home. There is no problem. And once you have some social distancing, get some more. Always helpful. Everyone present wears a mask. Even if you're in your space with social distancing, mask. Always wear a mask. Now that's important. When on the stage? We only pass the stage, so like we traditionally do, we, or would traditionally do, only pass it with the elbow or the foot or however someone feels more comfortable. If there's more than one person on the, on the stage, they should both have a mask. There shouldn't be an awkward transition moment. Take your time, put the mask, have the other person on the stage. Then when only one person is on the stage, they may take off the mask. Not force, it's a possibility. Additional warning, warm clothing, ventilation is necessary and it could get cold. I mean, really. Some people are nodding their heads, that's right. Then the participation survey. This is how we implemented in our club the participation limits. On a weekly basis, we send a weekly form or the Google Forms and in there we have the uh, an updated status of all the rules because from time to time or from session to session the rules are updated according to your country this could be the number of participants the location schedule we could update the schedule because the country has some regulation that says now everything closes earlier so we have this schedule on the form and the importance of the commitment because there has not happened. It's been amazing, but it's there. The commitment that if you sign up to go and be present, you should respect it because someone else could want and be, be taken off the opportunity because your name is in there. And last but not least, any additional warnings. Again, warm clothing. I mean warm clothing, but there are other additional warnings. Like, for example, if too many people sign up, a selection criteria. Because I know this could be a hot topic, I ask that every question gets to the discussion afterwards. Let's look at what we need for the session setup, at least for Invicta. We need a portable computer with a microphone and Zoom installed. Here, the camera wasn't necessary because we have a wide-angle camera, and this is what we look. Uh, this is what the camera that looks towards the stage. Then a projector, like most clubs already do, with hopefully a flat surface to project it. And last but not least, a wireless mouse or mouse pad, so that the Zoom Master has the flexibility of not being glued to the computer, so it can be further away and it can do everything that it needs and will get into what it needs to do. And then on the other side, we will need a smartphone with a camera and Zoom installed, this camera the, or this phone does not need a microphone because every, all the things it, it's doing is just videotaping and streaming the audience. This is the uh, um, audience camera for us. Then, very important, a tripod because no one's going to be holding that phone. And even more important, and I mean extremely important, a power bank. You have no idea how many sessions we forgot the power bank and the audience, the, the people at home lose the audience because there's no more battery. Really important. You, all, you have the, the materials. Let's look at how the room actually is set up. So we have the speaker on stage. We have the laptop pointing towards it. So the wide angle camera actually gives it a very wide angle. So more camera, more stage. Thank you, Agia. Then a projector and a surface to project on and very close to the to the to the flat surface or to the the screen we have almost hidden that camera so this is a tripod a camera and a power bank everything's there everything's connected there and this camera is looking towards the audience nothing more nothing less four cameras and then very far away, our mouse or our mouse pad. Because this way, if it's wireless, the, the Zoom Master can indeed change views according to whom, who is speaking. Let me give you some labels. 
Exactly. So stage and audience, uh, wide angle camera to the stage, stage and audience microphone. So the computer is the microphone for everything. The projector to the screen and then audience camera, tripod and power bank. I truly hope this works and I truly hope that you can hear what's about to happen. No sound? No, there is no sound. You need to share your sound with us. How do I do that? When you start sharing, uh, well, don't worry. There's only one sound. There's only one sound. So this is our no, our headphones, which are not critical. That's why I didn't include them in the setup. And okay. So that was just me setting up, and now setting up the Zoom call. Uh, I, I will open up for discussion. Don't worry. This is quick. So setting up the Zoom call. Now I put the, the smartphone without sound. I hope you see the detail. So I didn't join the audio. And the session is basically set up. Well, Invicta, nice. Then the session roles. We have everything. We have all the, the roles that we previously had. Most of them do not change. It's basically looking at your person who's speaking, looking at the session, evaluating everything. However, there are three roles that I think that either change or should be focused on in this situation of a hybrid meeting. So the session Toastmaster, the Timekeeper, and the Zoom Master. Quick regards. So the session Toastmaster, it's not that it's a change, it's a preference. In Invicta, we have always preferred to have our session Toastmaster, our first Toastmaster, in the physical meeting. It is a, a, an added flow to the meeting that we can just have someone do the elbow or give the word to the, to the camera at home. If it's at home, it, it is an added level of difficulty. But as I said, it's just a preference. A person at home could do this job. A timekeeper. If the person is at home as a timekeeper, we work with the virtual backgrounds, it works fine. So the person in the room can clearly see on the screen the, the square of the timekeeper. If the timekeeper is in the session, a, a person at home may have some difficulty seeing. So the placement is key. We place the timekeeper very close to the audience camera, so there is a much easier visibility towards it. And the Zoom Master. What does the Zoom Master have? Have, have different. The Zoom Master should be present. Why? Because it's the person that's going to share the screens, it's the person that should allow everything, and the changing of the views. And this is what's critical. If the person in the, in the room is speaking, we should have an, a gallery view so the person in the room can see everything. If the person at home is speaking, what, uh, what we want is to have an, a speaker view so that the people in the room, the audience, can see who is at home much more clearly. And sharing the screen. This is something that happened in our last session, that uh, one of the speakers, me, uh, shared the wrong screen. So I was sharing the, the, the next slide to the audience at home. People loved it. They could see the spoilers up ahead. So these are the focus for the Zoom Master when sharing the screen. Then let's look at the session flow. So la our last session, we had the Toastmaster at home. And here is him, our Germano. This is our audience, very well distanced, with masks on, and passing the word to our word of the day. As you can see, everyone in the room can clearly see who's at home. And changing. So now. Our Toastmaster at home is giving the word to our district director and the view is changed to gallery so the person in the room can see the person at home. I hope you all enjoyed uh, my brief talk. And now, let's talk. I'm, going, I'm not going to go, oh, oh, it doesn't have an animation. No, let's talk.
I'm going to stop sharing. Any concerns? Any doubts? Please. Oh, uh, Roberto, Roberto Freitas. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah, hello. Thank you very much for the presentation. That was great. Uh, yeah, Portugal, PMI Portugal is trying to, to start the debris session, but then we stopped due to the emergency state. We just have a trial. Um, I, I have a, a critical question for you that you did not mention. How do you manage sound, sound from the, um, the stage? And how do you manage the, the feedback or the echo? Because the, 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 for us, it's, it's a main issue. Uh, how, we... how, do you, how, do you, how do you capture the, the, the the sound stage. Yes, the the sound from, from the, the stage. The, the in person. Yes, the sound yes. from the stage, and most actually the stage or the audience is always received on the one microphone we have in the room, so the laptop. And there is no okay. feedback because we do not have multiple input output systems. We only have one. That's why I said that the smartphone that captures the audience is not connected to sound. It's only video, or in this case, it's only image of video not the sound of video does uh, that answer your question okay okay yes it does uh okay another just, question um wait, yeah, please, the... someone else is asking uh just just following your your question before is jaim speaking here yes um uh, is the the microphone of the portable enough for all the room in our setup yes I, I advise that if it's not enough for your computer to get a, a better one. In, but again, this is just how it functionally worked for us because we also try to have um, a, a different microphone, in this case, a, a, a stage specific microphone. And it worked, and that, that's the one that Sergio has in his hand um, that worked very well for the stage but then it lost impact on the sound of the audience. So if you're going to have a micro, another microphone in, in the room, have one that's the, for conference, not for speaker, because you lose the audience. And for example, if you have um, a guest in the room and we, you give him the, or give him or her the word, you lose everything they say. And it can be very impactful. Omnidirectional. Omnidirectional, yes. Thank you. That's the word. Any more questions? Uh, did, did, did you try omnidirectional together with the computer? Because the advantage of the computer is that it can manage the, the, the echo counseling if you use the computer both for input and output. We, did we manage to, to use uh, external? We didn't. We, we used an external right. microphone but the, the results were not as positive. But as I said, we, it was a, a unidirectional microphone, not an omnidirectional one. Okay. The, so the, the less hardware we have, I the have more successful we'll be. Pablo. Oh, no problem. Pablo, talk to me. Okay. Just a question about how it works when the presenter, the speaker is presenting actually something, both from home and from the, from the stage, the physical stage. You mean? You mean presenting from a PowerPoint perspective? Yes. So when uh, when a person is in the room, you, you can share the screen with the audience at home. And at the same time, because if you if you notice on Zoom, most of your screen actually becomes the, the thing you're presenting. So the, the person in the room can see what he's doing. The person, the people, the audience in the room can see the same thing that the people at home are seeing. So the, everyone actually eats the most common visual, visual that everyone has. So everyone sees the same screen on the big screen. I don't know if that was clear. Yes, Rafael. thank you. Uh, uh, oh, okay, Andre Correa. Sorry, sorry, Roberto. Uh, uh, no problem, um, Rafael. If you uh, so, I noticed that your um, your room it's it's small. Okay, yes. but if if you had or if what will be uh, an upgrade to this setup from your perspective so if you wanted to improve something okay what will you invest let let's put it this way okay maybe i i have some ideas and i want sergio Aguirre to th think about some other some ideas because maybe he has but for me a direct upgrade would maybe be a better microphone because 
if you have the mask on stage, and it's because I said it's not forced for you to take it off, it can have an impact on the sound quality. A, a better, more powerful microphone may be a good investment. As I said, we because it works, we're not going to complicate. Then other, maybe even more expensive upgrades would be a camera phone, a much better camera phone, because right now we're working with one that works. And I would say that is it. Apart from that, so, it's just session quality. It's not hardware quality. So basically, also talking about uh, what Roberto was asking. So if so, the big player here is that if you have a really good omni-directional uh, um, microphone, that is the key piece that will have a, boot, a boost on the session. Is is this your, also your opinion? Sound quality is very important. It could okay. be very well the biggest complaint we have at home mm -hmm. or in, uh, yeah, at home. People at home could have that much more impact. I want to, I want to just give the word to Sergio Agui if he has something okay. to say. Thank you. Uh, just to, well, in, in, in the line that you are saying, if you have better material with better, uh, with better, if you have more money, you can get more material, better material, then you have a, be a better session. So the, the limit is how money do you have to buy the materials to to post-product the, the session. But yeah, it's right on track. Okay, thank you, Agia. Uh, I want to go back to Roberto because he, I, he's the one I keep seeing that uh, with the hand raised. Yeah, go, go, go. Sorry. Uh, I understand that's important to have a Zoom master in, in the session. It's, it's uh, better, but you can, you can also, did, did you try already also with the Zoom master at home instead of being in the session or having two Zoom masters maybe? The, 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 thing, what, the reason why we have the Zoom master and we insist on having the Zoom master present in the session is there could be a lack of sync between opening a session and having the setup ready mm -hmm. and, and accepting people into the meeting. And there it would be a redundant investment in having someone allowing permissions at home and then in the room have, requiring, because this is required, to have someone always changing the view according to the speaker. And this way, the way we have it, a Zoom master rarely is bound to just being a Zoom master. Our Zoom master can be doing other tasks, other roles in the session, which is very common with me because I'm mostly, most of the time, the Zoom master. I, I just have a, a quick co comment on Go, Roberto, no problem. Let's go. To, 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 to. Yes, uh, the, the, the main difference uh, we're trying to do is uh, from, from a gear setup is probably we are going to use a small television instead of, of the whiteboard in the projector, okay. just because it's, it's easier mm -hmm. uh, to, to have a small television at home or a small computer mm -hmm. uh, these days. And that the other thing you are also doing is uh, having a, a mobile broadband the rotor so we can we can use it any place of course if the place is as wi-fi ready it's better okay yes. but because we are trying to, to look for our focus is trying to have the minimum setup mm -hmm. which is a portable setup okay, okay. which we have to, to find places which is the most difficult now okay. so we try to set up a port, what we call a portable setup the the television is a good okay, replacement you. The, from the point of view Small that you don't... Or, or yeah, or yeah. The monitor. Yeah, because hopefully, if you're doing the same way we are, the, pers the, people at, the, the per person speaking on stage has the same view as the people that are watching the screen from the other side. The broadband, it, it is a, a matter of investment. We, have, we do not have that necessity. We have Wi-Fi. But if, it, you, if you don't have Wi-Fi, the broadband is indeed necessary it's just from a point of view of creating a portable setup okay because yeah. today is very hard at least for get a setup okay we're trying we're trying condominium rooms yeah. uh, garage if we have one so we have not found the, the, the room yet because yeah. now it's getting more we yeah. just it makes trials. perfect sense but that's the, the, our mindset our mindset thank you uh, Fernando, but we'll visit you one of these days. We'll visit you one of thank these you. days. Thank you, thank you, Roberto. Fernando, <laughs> online. <laughs> Maybe do you have a, a, a schema or a plan of the of a stage 
Yes, I presented it. I can show you. I mean, the, this is the screen. This is the camera without make and so on. Yes, I I, um, I presented. Give me one second. I'll share again. I'll share again the screen. I don't know if was it in the in the PowerPoint or yeah, right here. This is what we have. Do you see it? Uh, not yet. Who sees anything? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Now. So uh, we have the the speak. Wait, do you see my my mouse? Yeah. Okay. So speaker with a computer with a camera. In this, we prefer a wide angle camera, so we have much more stage. It yeah. would be a common issue that some people would not know exactly where sh they should stand. With this camera, no problem because everywhere they stand, people see them. Then we have the projector and the screen. Roberto proposed the replacement of instead of projector and screen, a small, a small TV set. It's an alternative. And the rest, I think, I think I already explained. I'm going to share now, unless you say anything in three. That's uh, a good uh, option. Do you have any option about, because I'm no, I, we don't know much about microphones. I do have this big one, but I don't know because I never use it. I don't know. Yeah, just something like I'm. I'm the uh, least. I'm the least most expert in the in the microphone business because we don't use one. We tried <laughs> and it didn't work. But do, do you said about um, omnidirectional microphone? If, if maybe, it's possible, and if, if I if don't think uh, I if, don't think about uh, the best or the most expensive. Just something enough to to cover the sound in our in the in the room. Just this. Maybe do you have any tip or? I don't, but I, I hear do. that Jabra microphones are really good, but they may be a little bit expensive. I don't you know. Have, you have uh, some uh, microphones, omnidirectional microphones, like it looks like a kind of um, a round thing that you put on the table from uh, Plantronics. Nowadays it's called Poly as well, Poly Callisto. They are quite good. Poly Callisto. They have several models, and you also have uh, some kind of a Chinese one. It's called Samson, S A M S O N, Samson. The same kind of ones. And if you want to go for the best, you go for the Yamaha speakerphones. Uh, can you put the name here in the chat, please? Yes. Sorry. Yes. Now